Imagine you're just scrolling on Facebook, looking at your timeline, when all of a sudden you see somebody on Facebook Live and you hear gunshots in the background. And that person is, you know, driving around, just shooting random things. But at first you would think like, ah, this must be some sort of a movie or something. Maybe this is like a prank until you find out that it's not a prank, it's real. Now let's talk about the city of Memphis. It is rife with corruption in the local political framework. Crime is high. Young Dolph, high profile rapper recently was killed within the last year. But let's talk about um, just this teacher, Eliza Fletcher, who was jogging early morning last Friday around the University of Memphis. And she was abducted, put into an SUV, and then lost her life. That already had the city of Memphis on edge. But now this, a 19 year old man out here doing ridiculous things, deleting people all for nothing. Now, who is this guy? Ezekiel Kelly, driving around in a high speed pursuit, a high speed pursuit, endangering the lives of people. But now let me just talk about this because four people ended up losing their lives because of this foolishness. And I was talking to brother George today. And the first thing that I want to talk about is where is this guy's mind? Now let me talk about this. And George made the point. Do we have Pookies and Ray Rays in the black community? Sure we do, but we do have some Pookies and Ray Rays with certain levels of discipline. All right. You got guys that are, you know, the random shooters, Let's say like this guy who's just dangerous. And then you have your guys that's gonna come get at you when they need to get at you. You know, your Crips, your Bloods, your Essays. People that if you do something, you know, they got people that'll come take care of you, but they're only coming after that particular person. That means they're not gonna endanger people, you know, outside on the streets. They're not gonna endanger usually kids and things like that. And even though Pookies and Ray Rays are bad, there are different levels to it. So then my situation is, what creates circumstances where you have people like Mr. Kelly who are always getting in trouble? Now, he recently was released from prison in March after serving 11 months of a three year sentence for aggravated assault. All right. He also has reckless endangerment and using a firearm with the intent to commit a dangerous felony in 2020. So this is a guy even at the age of 17, 18, 16 was having problems. Look at him here in this booking photo, all right? He, the guy is smiling. Something is seriously wrong with him. And you know what? Certain people are saying things, right? Um, I wanna talk about there's particular attorneys um, talking about, well, you know what? If he wasn't released from prison early, you know, people would still be alive. Let me just say this. Whenever this guy was gonna get out, he was gonna be a problem, all right? Whenever, because circumstances created guys like this. And we want to talk about it. We want to talk about kids who turn out like this because we know that nobody loved them. Nobody cared for them. And when we talk about black cities, Detroit, Memphis, certain parts of East St. Louis, Illinois, St. Louis, Missouri, um, some of your cities in the Midwest are declining. What are we seeing? There's no reinvestment into these communities. There's nothing there. There are no businesses there. There are no resources given there. There are no families there. There are no fathers there. So what do you expect these young men to become? And then cities like Memphis always talk about how we're gonna clean up the crime, how we're gonna clean up this and that, when you have Democratic leaders all the time in Memphis who don't talk about what the real truth is. These boys are growing up suffering from mental health issues, some of them, because of unstable environments. And the cities are don't not do enough to do what you need to do to bring families together. That's what you need to do to solve problems in Memphis, in Little Rock. Wanna know what's happening there? The daddy left, the mama not getting along with the daddy, the mama not getting along with a new boyfriend, and then these kids go out here and suffer, right? That's the truth. We wanna get away from that. How are you gonna keep creating the same situations decade after decade after decade and things like this happen? Every, every day there's somebody like Ezekiel Kelly that's waiting to snap, all right? It's not just what he does on Facebook Live. You got folks who do this with not on Facebook Live. Does it matter? It's still being done. It's still being, it's still horrific, okay? You have people growing up in, in insane environments. Wanna, I bet you wanna talk to this guy, see what he's been through. 
see what he's seen in his life. And guess what? When people don't care about you, you don't care about others because you have to feel like that. And that's why reinvesting into black communities is important. Reinvesting in families is important. Giving your people resources is important. That's why creating jobs is important. Creating businesses is important. Creating family structures is important. Creating communities around women and children and men is important. Because when people don't have that, what other alternative do they have? Now, sure, can you get people that are still do crazy things? You know, yes, of course. Crazy people can happen. Things can happen, you know, regardless of anything, right? We get it. People can be estranged from their families and that can happen. Got it. John Hinckley Jr. tried to assassinate Ronald Reagan. He came from a very well, a, a rich family. So can it still happen? Absolutely. But here's the situation that I want to talk about. Is it less likely? All right. Why is Memphis so dangerous all the time, right? These young men are coming from similar homes. Where is the father? Where are the businesses around the communities? Where are the people that care about them? It's not there. I mean, you know, what do you expect these guys to do? Now, some people are not going to, you know, go ahead and do this. I get it. But now, what is their what is their contribution to society? Some folks, low-end jobs, not productive as individuals. They don't give back to society. And you come back, you blame black men or you blame single black women and you set them up to fail because we don't tell our people the truth. Do they know how hard it is to raise a child? How much money you really need to raise a child? How much love you need to give a child? Do they know? Do they know? Or are we going to just keep around acting like we don't know? Because all this is going to do, we're going to keep having the same situations over and over and over again all the time. The names will be different. Okay. But the situation should be the same. If you want to try Jackson, Mississippi, Memphis, Oakland, Baltimore, Cleveland, Shreveport, Baton Rouge, every year they're the same cities. New Orleans. New Orleans has three cities. I mean, St. Louis. I mean, uh, Louisiana has three cities in their state. Want to know why? Poverty is rife in Louisiana. It's not even one of the biggest states, and it has three of the most top 10 dangerous cities. Want to know why? Poverty in Louisiana. That's why a lack of opportunities in Louisiana. That's why. How do you have a state with less than 5 million people and three of your cities are the top dangerous cities there? That's why. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. With another episode of The Survey John. Appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. Check out the first comment at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains all time high. I'm out.